California's sunny Central Valley is one of the country's most productive agricultural regions, with Zinfandel as an important part of the bounty. Duarte Nursery in Houston, California has been growing Zinfandel from the start. We do several million grapevines per year for a lot of growers up and down the state of California as well as into Oregon and Washington. As with most trees and vines, Zinfandel is propagated by grafting. Here's your rootstock. This is the trunk from here from the vine and you can look at the root system down below and here's your variety up top. A person will select a rootstock as they would a farming tool. Um, different rootstocks work for different soil types, different farm practices, and different vigor. And now, vintners have even more options thanks to newly released Heritage Zinfandel selections. The ZAP program is really exciting for us because it's introducing old clones back into new farms. We'll get some new exciting wines out of that. While nurseries raise the vines of tomorrow, Central Valley universities like UC Davis and Fresno State are raising a new crop of winemakers. We have barrels, we have a full operating winery, we have vineyards on campus. Recent graduate Nasa Ordaz has a long history with wine. Well, previously I worked at a winery since I was 16 out in Paso Robles. Uh, got accepted to Fresno State and from there I never left. I just been volunteering and from volunteering they asked me if I wanted a job and graduated and I'm still around. Like NASA, Veronica Viramontes has her own Zinfandel story and her own big dreams. I've grown up in the wine industry, more on the viticulture side of things. So after graduating, I possibly want to go home, work in a winery, kind of see how they do stuff first. And I think I'm probably going to start working with our Zinfandel, and I want to see if I can make one of the best Zinfandels. Making great wine takes practice, so students make the most of their education by crafting wine for Fresno State's private label. We're trying to achieve a Zinfandel in which we're proud of, which represents our vineyard and the hard work that goes into the vineyard. But we have a stand-up Zinfandel that we only make about 200, 250 cases and that flies out the door pretty quick. Across the Central Valley and the wine industry at large, something about Zinfandel always captivates. You can make a white Zinfandel, which is approachable to mostly anybody in a hot day like Fresno. But not only that, you could also make a port out of the Zinfandel. You could also make a big, robust, you know, Zin, light, delicate Zin. It's, Zin's approachable for anybody. Like, everyone can drink a Zinfandel. It's not just one person. The petite Syrahs, the cabs, they're, they're heavier reds. But when you get a Zinfandel, it's more well-balanced. And I feel like any kind of drinker can drink that type of wine. Uh, the Heritage clones provide a unique aspect of different flavors that are coming through that I think will show importance and get new drinkers enjoying more wines, especially the Zinfandel clones. So that's what I'm looking forward to here in the future.